Hello there, welcome to TV News. This month, we met an outstanding student. Visual communications give back to the children in need. How students wrap up the year. And much more. You'll find out in this month's special broadcast. I'm Braden Russell. And I'm Jessica Copenhaver, and we're bringing you stories for our December news. Putting the spotlight on the student of the month is Josie Wood. A teacher prep student from Ulaga High School. This month's student spotlight is Josie Wood. She's a senior teacher prep student that is also an FFA. We asked her why she came to Tech, then more about FFA. I decided to come to Tech to further my teaching career. I wasn't really sure which path I wanted to take, but I knew that teaching was where I belonged. I am an FFA because I had my mom and my uncle both served as officers and agriculture has been a big part of my life so I knew that that was a organization that I would love to join. We also asked her what she does in FFA. The past few years I have livestock judge, I did freshman quiz bowl, I have showed livestock and done agri-science. I have been in FFA for five years. My favorite thing about FFA is getting to experience things that other kids wouldn't and all the leadership skills that you build. I have two wonderful ag teachers that have helped me through everything and it just really builds um, responsibility and being able to take control of things that you wouldn't really get anywhere else. After I graduate, I plan to go work at Head Start in Cushing as the head 3K teacher. It sure seems like she's got a bright future ahead of her. We wish her the best of luck in her future teaching career. You better watch out to make her use her teacher voice. This year, we had the opportunity to meet some wonderful people from Tech Connect. Our campus's theme for this year's Tech Connect was Disney. Let's see how it went. This year's Tech Connect, we got to help 15 employees understand how some of our programs here at our campus work. They visited visual communications, electrical, and the welding programs. After they visited all the programs, they were fed lunch from the Dutch pantry and then toured the Port of Catusa. Fabulous! I've never seen Doc drive more than 20 miles an hour. I mean, have you ever seen him race? No, but I wish I could have. They said he was amazing. He won three piston cups. He did what in his cup? Oh yeah, well, if you hadn't shown up in your stupid little cardboard spaceship and taken away everything that was important to me. <laughs> Surrender, Buzz Lightyear. I have one. I'll never give in. You killed my father. No, Buzz. I am your father. No! We hope they had a magical time. Wow, it looked like a really fun day. Next we have... Ho, oh, ho, oh, oh. Uh, what was that? <laughs> that should be everything. What are you doing down there, little elf? We found it at the bottom of your bag. What? Well, where is the present from? It's for little Timmy Hinklebottom in Oklahoma. Little Timmy in Oklahoma? Well, that's where we're going then. Yeah! All right, guys, this will be a quick one. In, out, let's go. Don't move a muscle. It can't see us unless we move. Great, now we're gonna need someone's 
for cake. <laughs> Wow, the elves sure seem busy this year. Speaking of Christmas, a few of our students were able to help with Operation Christmas Morning. Let's take a peek. This year, visual communication students were able to lend a hand to the Prior Area Resource Alliance, also known as PARA. Every year, PARA hosts Operation Christmas Morning, an event centered around bringing toys and clothes to children less fortunate than others. The holidays are hard for some people. Thanks to them, over 400 kids are getting the Christmas they deserve. Having so many toys to sort through and so many gifts to prepare, the Visual Communications team were happy to take part in this wholesome Christmas event. So uh, today we're getting these checklists for the angel trees. So what we're doing is we're going through all these different rooms and uh, we're grabbing uh, clothes, toys, and shoes. Operation Christmas Morning is a great way to help out families in need. I personally like it for the past three years. I've been doing this and I love it. It's just a really great way to help families and just show that you care and do your part. This is Zach Rainey, signing off from NTV News. What a way to get into the Christmas spirit. It has been quite a rainy day today, but I understand some big changes are on the way. Now on to our monthly weather update. Hello guys, welcome to the December weather. It is Christmas weather, uh, and we are uh, proud that you guys are able, we are honored, for lack of a better term, that you guys are willing to come in and watch us. So Blake, um, with Christmas coming up, we thought that it would be nice if we let you guys know, you know, what sort of weather that we'd be experiencing in, uh, you know, our Holly month. Uh, with 51 degree Fahrenheit highs and lows of 31 degrees for December, snow, rain, high winds, and a lot of cold weather in general, most meteorologists have said that this weather season will split the United States in two, meaning that one side will be mild whilst one will be cold. Now, Blake, what else do you got to say? Well, you know, with it being winter and stuff, we sent our correspondent, Tristan Fillion, out to tell us what the weather was going to be like Shout out, while Tristan. me and you are inside the nice, warm, toasty, you know, environment I while mean, he's outside in the cold. We all know Tristan's, Tristan's warm-blooded. He doesn't need, you know, the inside warmth. He doesn't what about it? it? So take it away, Tristan. cold. Thank you, uh, Tracen, for that great uh, weather. Blake, any other announcements for December? Um, I don't know. This month, it's going to be like one of the coldest ones in our state's long history. Um, our precipitation will be at highest. Snowfall will also be above average. So, you know, make sure you bundle up get some hot cocoa, watch some nice movies, you know, have a good time. Yes. So, what is your favorite Christmas movie? My favorite Christmas movie? What is your favorite Christmas movie? Um, honestly, I don't know. I like that one that Mel Gibson did last year. Of that course, was a pretty good one. Of course, my favorite, Die Hard. Uh, that is all the time we got. This has been Blake and Raph's weather special. Thank you, Raph and Blake, for that weather update. We had an ugly sweater day to get some of our campus into the Christmas spirit.
What an interesting day on campus. Throughout the year, we asked students about their Spotify wrapped. I wonder what our students listen to. What is your name? Caden Keener. So I am here with... JC Vickery. Braden Russell. Taylor Bennett. Chloe. My name is Jessica Copenhaver. Zane Rampy. Alyssa Bennett. Wyatt. Graves. What was your top song this year? Uh, Puffin' on Zooties by Future. Digital Bath by Deftones. As It Was by Harry Styles. Cirrus by Ghost. Three Fall. Entertain Me by Yelena Garcia. Cult 45. Get Low. Late July by Zach Bryan. Who was your top artist this year? Suicide Boys. Deftones. Top artist was Taylor Swift. Ghost of Rainbow King Surprise. Dementia. Cody Johnson. Zach Bryan. What was your top genre? Uh, trap. Pretty sure. Uh, alternative metal. Indie pop, but that doesn't make really any sense. Top drama was pop. Country. Texas country. What was your song personality type? The early adopter. Gothic moody. The replayer. The adventure. The devotee. How many minutes did you listen to Spotify this year? About 60,000. Uh, 60,167. 50,586 minutes this year. 64,468. Wow. 113,000, around 8,000 minutes. 89,000. 89,000. That's a lie. We both know that. Okay. It's 208. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Over 22,000. Over 30,500. This is this year's Spotify Minutes into Rankings, with Chloe being in first place and Jessica in last. That's some incredible stats. Next, it looks like we have some voice actors on campus. Let's see what merry movies we have in our holiday dub. Ha, it are snow, you. They're not attached? Why are they not attached? I thought they were attached. I would never in a million years have done what I just did if I didn't think these were attached. In your garbage. You see what I'm saying? In your garbage! I could hang myself with all the bad Christmas neckties I found at the dump. Chris Kringle. Santa Claus. Name? Pierre Noel. Bruno Natale. Pelez Nicole. Tapo Gijo. Do you hear me? I'm not afraid anymore. Ah! Hi there, Sugar Plum. How'd you make out with the hothead? I heard that you snowball. My goodness, speak of the devil. Madam, kindly state your business with that drippy snowman and get him out of here. Mind your blood pressure hotcakes. Mother warned you about that low boiling point of yours. Back away, products. Tuppets, his tuppets. Now I have a machine gun. Thank you, Your Honor, and a very Merry Christmas to you. Miss Claus stepping out on Santa, letting some other guy down the chimney? Why, that two-timing ho, ho, ho. The name's Yukon Cornelius, the greatest prospector of the North. Merry Christmas! Which one was your favorite? Ooh, definitely the Home Alone one. Classic. Now, on to the announcements. The winter solstice is December 21st. And a huge thank you to Carl Mecklenburg for taking time to speak at Northeast Tech Prior Campus. We appreciate everyone who donated to the Twid Drive this month. And Christmas break runs from December 16th to January 3rd. From NTV Studios, we want to wish you all the happiest of holidays and a wonderful new year. Now, on to the bloopers. Uh, the name is uh, Theodore. Adventure. The what? The adventure. The what? Adventure. The what? The adventure. Typical. Oh, oh, oh. What? 
here we go again. Fantastic. <laughs> Emma. <laughs> Why? Whenever, you know, I go to your deathbed, that you just give me the stupidest last words ever. I hope, I hope you say- I hope you die before me. I hope you say that KFC is better than Popeyes, because we all know it's not. Oh, he's firing it up. Look at this! Big elbow drop! Whoa, what are you doing down there, little elf? Zeus, your son has returned! I bring the destruction of Olympus! What was that? Death. What kind? Instant. There was no sound. He just died. The I have been Blake. This has been Raph. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. I'm not afraid anymore. <laughs>